There's people giving us a wave. Looks like they're out. CrossFit. Is that a boombox? What year is this? Welcome to Dan's on this street. I am Dan. Today we're in Idaho and uh, it's capital city of Boise. Looks like a pretty interesting city here, sitting up in the mountains. Pretty high elevation town. Um, let's drop right in here. Interesting layout to everything. We'll start downtown and kind of move out from there, all right? We'll drop right on Idaho Street. Hey, there's a good place to start. Looking at August 2018, so pretty recent. Got some new shopping here, West Elm. I always like that store, right? Plenty of other shopping. Looks like a bar over there, maybe. Now let's move down the street. Very interesting. I read the population here is around 230,000. Um, so not too big, but it's also the highest, highest population town in Idaho. Relatively small population state in the U.S. Looks like they're remodeling this place here. Got out some kind of cool graffiti or something there. I, I think that's temporary as they refinish that building. Good number of people out in the streets today. I always like that. Looks like a nice sunny day. Dedicated bike lanes here. Looks like they're really trying to kind of revitalize this downtown. It's always hard for old cities to keep people coming in the downtown area, but it looks like they're doing a pretty good job of it. Love the look of this old building here, the 805. That's great. Great design, great archways. Yeah, we'll take a right turn here. Newer building here. Apartments or a hotel, maybe? Can't quite tell. Hmm, glassy. What do we have here? Japanese cuisine? Okay, sure. Could stop in there. Costa Vida. Yeah, good mixture of architecture here. Um, some of this pretty kind of generically office buildings, newer buildings. Um, oh, here's Boise State University. We'll check that out more in a bit, maybe. Bicycles. Bicycles and eating. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed already with um, the look of things here. Oh wow, the Egyptian theater, isn't this fun? <laughs> Great design up there. A little artwork out here in the plaza. Oh my, my, my. There's the Capitol building, you can tell. Got quite a distinct look to that. We'll come back to that in a second. I kind of want to see down this street while we're here. Oh, we're on Capitol Boulevard. All right, well, no shock there, I guess. This looks kind of like the old, at least some of the old downtown or the old streets were preserved. I just want to look at this a little closer. Hmm. Yeah, it's been turned into a bakery most recently, it looks like. Blueprint supply. Kind of, kind of fun shops in here. Looks like a bar or a chicken place, maybe. Nice old look to these places. Here's the old, uh, you know, Bell Telephone building, it looks like. Maybe not Bell, but certainly a telephone company was there, historically. Nice wide roads here, looks like it kind of set it up all one way. Sometimes they do that in these towns where the roads aren't quite wide enough for proper traffic flow with today's volume of vehicles. Um, three lanes is, you know, a good number of lanes, but it works a lot better to just make that one way. Huh. Interesting. I love, a, I love an old building that has little words at the top or, you know, the original owner. Um, great to see that. Nice, uh, kind of brownstone buildings here. Oh, really, really nice places. Bakery. Hmm. 
Yeah, I read it. It's it's like two hundred thirty thousand in the uh, in the city proper, but uh, a lot larger than that in the metro area. There's a few kind of cities around here that uh, altogether it's closer to seven hundred thousand. So it's it pretty significant. All right, here's the Capitol building, state capital that is, certainly modeled. It seems to me after the U.S. Capitol building or it's got to at least be inspired by it. Kind of looks like a version of it. Quite the site. Quite the building. Look at that staircase. Has anyone fallen down like all those stairs? It's got to happen. There's no rail. How's that? How's that safe? Uh... <laughs> People giving us a wave. Um, looks like they're out. CrossFit. Is that a boombox? What year is this? Um, interesting old bell there. Maybe it's not old. Um, nice building, though. Tell you what, let's pop up. I wonder if we can get inside this. It's wonderfully modeled here in Google Maps. Look at that. It's pretty awesome. Secretary of State, Governor... Oh yeah, let's pop in. Oh, perfect. Wow. Look at that gold statue. Um, yeah, it's about what I expected. I mean, very impressive. Very pretty. Not quite sure what this is made of. It's nice though. Real solid. Classic look to it, right? I bet this could double for movie sets as the actual U.S. Capitol building, and nobody would be the wiser. I'm sure I wouldn't, I'll tell you that. Um, at least the inside of it. Okay, let's see. Let's pull up here and get a better sense of this town. So it sits here kind of at the the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. We're really high up. I, again, I read the elevation is like 2,700 feet. So, you know, we're not a mile high, but uh, we're halfway there, right? Okay, let's drop over here. This, this park's really catching my eye. This looks like a well, well laid out park, nice place. Let's just walk around here just a little bit. The Boise River runs through town. Let's, well, maybe let's start there and uh, we'll take a left into the park. Hmm, okay, not a, not a huge river. But nice that it's here. Fresh water. Uh, okay, this is a second to load here. <laughs> All right. Let's take a left into this park. We just fell back to 2008. Oh, I don't like this at all. All right. I take it back. These 2008 photographs are just so weak. At some point, you know. Gotta just filter that out. Nice big fountain here. Somebody uploaded this photograph. A little better quality. Yeah, I mean, it's a big wide park. Um, yeah, full of uh, space for activities. Raft. Mm, soccer fields kind of strewn about. Baseball, tennis. It's got it all. It's got it all. All right. Another park over on this side of town. Here's the art museum. Well, it's this type of place I might visit. Let's drop back in here. Looks like there's some sort of gardens, maybe. Kind of weirdly blue, but uh, looks very pleasant. Yeah, it looks like there's a, uh, a rose garden back here. You can kind of kind of see that from above. And let's check out this art museum from the street. Julie Davis Drive. Not sure who Julie Davis is. A very understated art museum. Sometimes you'll, often you'll find art museums look like um, kind of the, you know, the wackiest building in town or, you know, most <laughs> progressive style you've ever seen, like angles on angles. Uh, that looks like it's just a building. For better or worse, you know, nice to see something simple. 
tons of bikes here. Oh, it looks like maybe they're selling bikes. Okay, gotcha. Hotels, apartments, all pretty new. Let's jump back in time here, see if this has progressed since the earlier days. 2012, look at that. It's all gone. Well, this one was still here, the Hampton Suites. But uh, this town is definitely growing. Look at that, just in the last, well, in six years there, between 2012 and 2018, two new big hotels, or I guess these are apartments. Pretty cool mural on the side of this building. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Myrtle Street. I'm loving all these shops in here. The studio? I wonder what that is. Film studio, maybe? Possibly. Music? So, here's a wider street. Hand Express, Trader Joe's. Okay. All places I've frequented many times. Kind of like the look of that artwork. Fractal. Another interesting tower there. Okay. There's a pretty good skyline here. Um, definitely, like, I appreciate how tall it is. Distinct. It's got a quite a memorable look to it. There's the capital there, and uh, there's some of these one, yeah, bank, a couple banks. Definitely a financial center. Pretty nice. Okay. wonder if we could get a view over the town from some of these hills. We're going to see more of the surrounding neighborhood soon. I just I like to start in the downtown area. Okay. Well, oh, there it is. It's pretty flat here. I thought we were higher up in the hills right here. Um, and I, I suppose we are to some extent. But there's a city. It's kind of neat up here, though. Very barren. There's those distant mountains. Great for hiking if you like to hike or bike. Oh, biking would be great in here. Off-road vehicles. Um, and I'm sure in winter, snowmobile skiing and all that kind of fun. Okay, let's move north of the city here a little bit. Looks like a nice neighborhood. Let's see what some of these homes look like. Very nice. Little place there. Cute, cute homes along this street. Some of them quite large. Looks like a few of them maybe turned into apartment buildings. Yeah. Let's see. North 8th Street. Very clean. I like this tree line street. Lots of sidewalks. Looks very peaceful in here. I'll just drive around a minute. Yeah, very livable, very nice. Oh, fall. Looking at November 2016 here. Interesting paint job on this van. <laughs> uh, whatever, some guy's local business or something. Giraffe laugh. Uh, no idea what that could be. Very pretty though, right? Very, very pleasant. Kind of a Kind of a big old place here. Oh, maybe a, maybe a school back there. Nice homes, though. Good medium to large sized places. Camel's Back Park. All right, let's keep north side up here. I'm going to get completely lost. A little further up here. Let's go by this park over on 23rd Street, maybe. We'll head towards the park. I like the look of this place. Tons of trees. The town was settled, I read. Um, well, it was officially founded back in 1863. And um, there was fur trading and trapping here back into the early 1800s. And then obviously, you know, the Native American populations were here for millennia before that. 
but officially, uh, 1863 it was founded. Nice streets here, very nice. I'm sure, I'm sure it's not tremendously um, overpriced living here too. I, I haven't, I don't know what the housing market is, but I'm sure it's somewhat affordable. I like this though, that's nice. Yeah, I'm impressed. Let's see. I don't want to get too far out of town. It starts again, kind of blurs into a few other towns. Um, but let's check out over here, maybe. This looks like a main street. Great Harvest Bread. Ooh. I might go in there. Oh, absolutely, yes. Get some fresh bread. about that font, but, uh, you know, bread's bread. I don't need a fancy font. Grocery outlet. See, this looks like the, uh, oh, <laughs> I swear half the art museums you go to have, like, this will be the art museum. It's like, we tilted it at 10 degrees because it's an art museum. And, uh, out here in Boise, they only do that at their bargain outlets. Fresh rocks. Get them here. Sell them cars. Love these distant hills and mountains back there. Very pretty. That's never going away. Big highway here. Just zooming into town. Across the river. Symposium. I feel like I should get one more glance at this river. If we can. All right, looking at March. Very peaceful right here. Looks pretty chilly. No snow to speak of. But yeah, looks very quiet. Nice park. These people got out a little early. That's always me going out in like March, getting excited. Like, oh. And you get there, it's still kind of freezing and there's no leaves. Um, nice park up here. Really nice. Oh, people out swimming. Good times to be had up here. Where is this? I got, I got lost there a little bit. This is really nice up here. The Boise Cascade Lake. All right, yeah, definitely check out this place. I love that you can swim in there. Yeah, it looks like they have these beaches set up. Really nice landscaped, at least from above, you can tell. Here's West Downtown. Let's go through this neighborhood a little bit. Um, let's see. Cute little homes. Smaller in here. Some of these are quite tiny. <laughs> Look at these. Yeah, some of them are really little. Less than a thousand square feet, maybe. Not sure if they have basements here. Uh, they probably do, I guess. Yeah, a little bigger over here. Really well mapped here. I I I so appreciate a well mapped Google Street View. You know, um, I love that I can orbit around. Sometimes you don't even need to drop onto the street to get some sense of the place. Okay, let's pull up here. Let's pull up. I wanted to check out the university. And... Is that over here? Medical... Oh, okay. Oh, here's the army. Some sort of army recruiting there. Looks like government buildings. Mostly in that part. Oh, here's the university. Okay. And a big stadium there. Again, I love that we can look around that. We'll pop in there, I promise. Let's see, Extra Mile Arena. arena. Um, let's drop around, drop down in the quad, see what it looks like. April 2014, end of the semester, best time of year. Well, if you're a student, at least. Looks pretty nice, nice campus. I like the look of this building here. 
Uh, some of these kind of look a little generic, but uh, it's, you know, it's campus buildings, people out in the grass, classic. Boise State, I'm not sure what the university is known for um, specifically, I'm, I'm sure it teaches a bit of everything. Aw, little dog there. Tons of bikes parked here. A lot of this looks pretty new. Um, oh, a little greenhouse happening here. Probably for one of the one of the majors. Some, I don't know, biology or plant management. I don't know. Let's pop over and see some of these sports. Certainly heard of Boise State. Well, in college sports. Let's check out where they play. This looks like quite the stadium. Oh, yeah, very impressive place. Blue grass. Um, really intense blue. There's no, no pretending this is not turf. They're not even going to fake it at all. It's blue. Um, I guess why not? Broncos, so you're kind of confused. You know, are we at Mile High Stadium or no? Um, let's pop on this field here. Pretty good sized place. Not like, not overwhelming. Well, maybe this, this up there, but I like the look of this. Good college field really large nice all right sports complex let's get one more glance at this river while we're over here it's kind of a path along it looks like oh yeah this looks like a nice bike path and a regular street i suppose the river runs off here to the right Great place if you're a student. Come out, get some exercise. What was that person doing back there? <laughs> oh, I thought that was a person. I swear I thought that was a person, like, stretching. Weird. <laughs> um, oh, that was so odd. I was like, that's a really weird pose. Um, no, it's just a pipe. All right, let's pop up here. A few more places. A few more places. I guess we haven't seen down this side of town much, south side of the river. Park Center... Park Center Park. Okay. I guess they're telling you it's a park. Alright. Okay, here are finally some pictures of proper winter here, February. Definitely looks chilly. Nice though. Very peaceful out here. Looks like a great, nice morning view, maybe. Business is all around here. Yeah, this kind of looks like a business district. Iconic village. We could go down the street here. I can tell from above, this looks like a, a lot of pretty standard brands you might expect. Wendy's and Burger King. Noodle Company tanning place and I'm going to go out on a limb and say a vape shop tattoos oh tap and cask yeah I'd go there that looks good black rock oh coffee bar okay I'd, I'd hit that up too a lot of these places still are places I love or places I would go in. I'll tell you that. This is interesting. Oh, my goodness. I swear, I've run into so many of these International Order of Oddfellow places on this tour. I'd never heard of this prior to recording this YouTube series. And now I swear I see them everywhere. I-O-O-F. Um, again, yeah, look them up on Wikipedia if you want to have a good time. Interesting old bunch. <laughs> yeah, I was very confused the first time I saw that. I was like, 100F, what is that? But it's 
International Order of Odd Fellows. A not defunct, but mostly non-existent um, order, whatever, social group. I guess we're going into town there. Let's check out. Let's check out. I'm getting dis. All right. Give me a second here. Oh, I'm upside down. I was. <laughs> That's why I have to keep north side up always. That I get totally lost. Just when I was getting a sense of things, I got completely turned around there. Here's an aquarium. Boise Beach. Let's drop into the street here. How about? Did say I'm trying to read the street name Lata Street. Interesting. This looks like it was an ice cream shop maybe at one point. Coffee parlor. Another nice place I could see popping in. More neighborhoods here. Google Maps here is kind of being funny. Beautiful light coming in here. No sidewalks in this neighborhood, but it looks so quiet, it might not be necessary. Still though, appreciate a neighborhood that has sidewalks. For the kids. Uh, and for myself, of course. Let's see. Boise Bicycle Project? Let's drop in over there. Huh. This looks like the old, one of the old industrial areas, maybe. Some of these buildings at least look kind of like garages, where they were. Bicycle Project, this is fun. Bring your bike here, get it fixed, maybe, or maybe buy buy an old used bike. What's that distant building there? Maybe we'll check that out next. Or have we seen that? I, it's catching my eye. Gyms, appliance and furniture. I hope they're hanging in there. I wish them well. All those old businesses like that. So many of those have just been crushed by big box stores. Oh yeah, what is this? The Boise Depot. Old train station. Very cool. Love this. Fantastic. Great look to this place. We got an old train sitting out here too. Old Union Pacific. Very nice. Yeah, if you were traveling west back in the day, or hey, still today, this, this was very likely a stop you'd come to, especially if you were on a train. The old Oregon Trail passed kind of right through here, or right around here. Yeah. I think Lewis and Clark were kind of up in this area too. Maybe even right here. Idaho Botanical Garden, another nice place. All kinds of great, great things to do here. Really good quality of life. I'm, I'm very impressed. I had almost no expectations here for Boise. You know, just kind of heard about it. But I feel like I haven't really thought about it since memorizing it as one of, one of the state capitals back in, you know, fifth grade or something. But I haven't really put a lot of thought to it, and uh, I'm liking what I see here. I'm really liking what I see. Seems like a good place. Very flat. It's kind of interesting how flat that was, considering how mountainous this all is. Big lake over there. Um, I like this. I really like this. All right, one more place, and uh, we'll call it a day here. Where should we go? One more place. Let's go into this downtown plaza here. Wells Fargo. Oh yeah, there's that bank building. 
Interesting. The Grove Plaza. Kind of looks like a good gathering place. I'm sure there's kind of a number of events that happen here around the year. Christmas markets, maybe, that kind of thing. This guy's in here. Looks like they're building something new or rehabbing there. Yeah, it looks, looks all new. And then we're out over here, where I think we were earlier. Urban Outfitters. Been a while since I've been in there, I'll be honest. Five guys. Uh, it's been a few days since I've been in there. Um, this is very nice. Edwards. Very cool. All right. I, uh, I like that a lot. I'm going to add it to my map. If you live in Boise, and, uh, well, first off, thanks for giving this a watch. And uh, let me know what I missed. If, if I missed some of your favorite places here, let me know in the comments. I'll come back and check it out. Look at this building here. We didn't even check this out at all. It's kind of wild looking. Um, yeah, I'll have to get back to this area soon. Uh, I think this is my first stop on this tour in Idaho, and I'll, I'll have to get back, see some of these smaller towns. Plenty to see and do. Tons of little towns you could visit. Twin Falls, is that in Idaho? Yeah, maybe I'll get there sometime. That looks really pretty. All right, well, for now it's on my map. If you enjoyed this, check out some of my other videos. Please subscribe, tell your friends. And uh, all these blue dots represent places I've been all around the world. All right, till next time.